Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Nissan GTR R35. I am on issue 15. Now in issue 15, I build stage 58. 58, I'll work on the passenger seat belt and the rear quarter panel interior component. And it looks fantastic, and we're coming down the home stretch with this build. I'm loving it. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage 58, which is the final stage for issue 15. And for stage 58, we attach the left side panel to the end of the front seat belt. The big part of this is uh, doing the seat belt. So um, remember the pins are either L1 or L2, so make sure you use the proper pins, but we'll, we'll show you that. And you can see most of the steps are uh, feeding the seat belt through the back panel. And I'll show you that as simple as possible. And then once the seat belt is completely fed through the way it needs to be, then we attach the side panel to the interior base. So let me get the parts out and we'll get a closer look. And here's parts pack 58. I'll go ahead and take these out. We'll get a closer look. I'll be right back. Here's a close-up of the parts. And here's the left side panel itself, made of plastic. And of course, that's what's visible. And we'll be attaching the seat belt on the back side here. Very nice. Of course, here's the seat belt itself. and some of the clips and brackets for the seat belt. We also received GP screws. I will be right back. And welcome back. Now remember these brackets have either L1 or L2 on them, stamped on them. And this is the L2 we're going to be messing with right now. It says L2. It's upside down for you, but that's what it looks like. And we're simply going to put our um, seat belt through it. We're going to go through the bottom first. Pull it through, just like that. I'm going to feed it back through the top, just like that. Then we'll get our back panel and configure it like that. And it even tells you where L2 and L1 go. If you look there, it's stamped. Okay. So in this case, there's an alignment pin. Put an L2 in. And that goes down just like that. So, like I said, we're just going to line this up with the pin, just like that, and we'll put our GP screw into it. A little bit of resistance, and that's it. Once the GP screw is in, we'll feed this in through the back panel here. see it there. Tweezers will definitely help you out with this. And pull it through. Okay. And 
and pull it through. Okay, so you want it towards facing up, upwards, just like that. Next, we feed it through our mounting bracket for the seat belt. Pay attention to the diagram. And that's through there. And goes through that and through the back panel here. Get some tweezers out and feed it through. There we go. And this gets secured down with a GP screw. Just like that. Pull it out and make it tighter. Okay, so we definitely want to make it tighter. Just like that. And we're going to secure it on the back side. with the L1 bracket. Okay, so we'll feed it. Make sure your hole is on top here, the opposite way. Feed it through. Feed it through the top. I'm going to use some tweezers. And tighten it and line it up with the hole. And we put a Line it up with the hole. There we go. Put a GP screw into that. Just like that. And there's what our seat belt looks like. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess seat belt material off. Just don't want it in the way. And there we go. Next we're going to mount this to the interior base and it's going to mount to two holes here, one here, one here, and there's a tab on the bottom side that this will feed, feed into. Okay, so these here will go on the bottom of the base and this goes on that tab right here. Okay, this goes on that tab. So I'm going to feed that in. 
bottom parts. And I'm just going to put the screws in on those first, and I'm going to deal with the top later. These take GP screws. Tighten them down until they're tight. Don't want to over tighten them. That's good. And then the last one. Last one looks like it just goes into the peg, just like that. And I think we put a screw into that. and tight. And there is our side panel with seat belt. I think it looks great. So if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. Happy modeling everybody and take care.